When I was a kid, I enjoyed helping my grandmother with her spring cleaning. Best of all was polishing the silver, making each piece shine. While we worked, she would tell me how important it was to know how to set a proper table, how making things look nice for others made them feel good about themselves. At the Delaware History Museum, we have silver from some of the most prominent families in the state's history. One silver tea service was once owned by Thomas Garrett, a Quaker abolitionist who helped Harriet Tubman whenever she passed through Wilmington. In his letters, he wrote about how he looked forward to having tea with Tubman one day. Garrett's descendants gave this service to the museum. When I learned that the freed people in Wilmington gave this to Garrett in 1866, on the anniversary of the Emancipation Proclamation, I wondered, why silver? And how did this community raise the money to purchase such an expensive gift? I see the engraving on the tray, 190 characters. How much did each letter cost? I imagine the mothers of all the black churches in the city having suppers on Sundays, selling plates on Fridays, and going door to door to raise the money. Garrett lost his home and business after being put on trial for violating the fugitive slave law when he helped a free man of color named Samuel Hawkins escape with his enslaved wife and their six children. We know Garrett's story because his friends in the abolitionist movement wrote about the trial in their newspapers. We know a lot about the founding families. We've written books about them. We see their names on buildings and streets in Wilmington every day but we still know so little about the stories of the people who served these families. I want to know more. What I know now is that the time I spent listening to my grandmother's stories made her feel special when other times the world made her feel overlooked or ignored. Like my grandmother said, when you set your table for your guests, you make them feel special. To Thomas Garrett, through evil report and good report, the faithful friend and wise counselor, the fearless champion and generous benefactor of the wronged and the oppressed, from the Colored People of Wilmington, January 1866.